Kim Kardashian made a statement for this year's Met Gala by wearing the iconic dress of Marilyn Monroe, which she wore for the birthday of the late President John F. Kennedy in 1962, and sang a happy birthday song. Kim was able to create a lot of fuzz with the dress. Many have approved of her wearing the legend's dress, and many haven't, especially the family of Marilyn Monroe. Let's talk about Kim's real reason behind her wearing the dress, and did she ask? It is no joke that Kim Kardashian is a Kardashian because of controversy. At this point, it doesn't even matter to her what type of serious controversy she is in. What matters for her is the gravity of it. In whichever talks Kim is in, even the negative ones, she manages to get enough publicity for herself. For Met Gala 2022, Kim borrowed the infamous dress of Marilyn Monroe from the Ripley's Believe It or Not Museum in Orlando, Florida for the biggest fashion night of the year. And Kim slew it. In order to resemble the legend, Kim even dyed her hair color similar to Marilyn Monroe. However, she did add a Kim touch to it as she did not leave her hair open, but rather tied it in a bun. Although Kim might have the thought to wear this legendary fashion outfit on the fashion night, not many have approved of Kim doing this. On the other hand, some feel what Kim did was clever. To be able to fit in the dress, Kim had to lose 16 pounds because that dress was too skinny. The flesh-colored gown an unlined, skin-tight piece of clothing is strategically embellished with 25,000 hand-sewn crystals. It was supposed to be so tight that Marilyn Monroe herself couldn't wear anything underneath. When Marilyn Monroe entered the stage wearing an ermine fur coat over the dress, she was called elegant. However, as soon as she removed the coat, the audience was for a second astonished, letting out a slight gasp, unsure if she was naked. She almost was perceived as covered with nothing but a twinkling of a thousand stars. Marilyn Monroe paid $1440 for that dress. According to word on this day, it was the clothes that made history. Reports say that Marilyn Monroe's dress had to be sewed until the last minute with Marilyn Monroe inside it. She also chose not to wear anything underneath for the flawless fit and attracted scandalous discourse that she knew would surround the dress and her performance. Anna Wintour had sworn Kim Kardashian would never be invited to the Met Gala 10 years ago expressing fears that her reality star status would distract from the tone of fashion's most important night. Against all chances, she got in on a technicality in 2013, walking out as the plus one of her boyfriend at the moment, Kanye West. Kim has brilliantly reinforced her status as one of the Met's most fascinating guests, defying the rules and breaking the internet in the process. Over a decade after her extremely controversial debut in the shadow of her A-list companion. Though the Met is no stranger to multi-million dollar gowns, Marilyn's gown would undoubtedly go down in history as one of the most valuable and memorable outfits ever seen on the red carpet and worn by a woman who was once allegedly barred from attending. The dress which Kim wore with a white fur coat and her new boyfriend, Pete Davidson, was inspired by a concept by Bob Mackie for French Hollywood costume designer John Louis. And its sheerness caused quite a commotion when Marilyn Monroe wore it 60 years ago. Bob Mackie was one of the most outspoken people who did not like that dress. Yes. A fresh college graduate was given his first ever postgrad project, and that was Marilyn Monroe's dress. Bob Mackey is a successful designer who continues to design notable pieces and win awards to this day. Bob Mackey worked for John Louis, 
the person who completed the dress for Marilyn Monroe. Bob Mackie hated Kim for wearing the dress with historical relevance. Bob was the assistant who drew the sketch for the original gown in his early career working under John Louis. In his words, I thought it was a big mistake. Bob Mackey opened up by reviewing the new Turner Classic Movies, Fashion on Film series, Follow the Thread, to EW that Marilyn Monroe was a goddess. Though a crazy one, she was a goddess. She was the most fabulous. Nobody photographs like that. And it was done for her. It was designed for her. Nobody else should be seen in that dress. Marilyn Monroe is celebrated, the divine and rebellious actress that changed the face of the American film industry, and no one can be placed near her. Is Kim the worthy one? Certainly not by Kim's past career graph, but for the looks? Might be. While some applauded Kardashian for paying a homage to the icon, Others were concerned about the consequences of her donning the genuine gown. Costume historians and conservationists condemned the precedent it would set as well as the possible harm it could do. And the latter is the most problematic issue for most. Mackey also agrees with historians who believe that wearing the gown harmed its preservation and structural integrity. He was only 23 when he drew the gown under Louise's instruction, and he had no idea what the gown was for other than an original design for Marilyn Monroe to wear. TCM host Alicia Malone, who met with Mackie for the network's upcoming Follow the Thread series and appeared on CNN's Reframed Marilyn Monroe, is likewise concerned about the gown's influence. There are concerns with the dress's real preservation as elements like oxygen can have an impact. These garments are usually preserved in tightly regulated conditions. So her ability to wear it was extremely surprising. Alicia says she wishes Kim had worn a replica instead of the genuine thing. Ripley's Believe It or Not Museum bought the dress at an auction for $4.8 million. They were persuaded by Kim to allow her to wear it to the fashion event. The museum allowed Kim to wear that dress only for a mere few minutes when she arrived at the event and walked up the Met Gala steps post which she needed to change into a replica once she got inside the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York. The dress is stored in a darkened vault that's temperature controlled at the optimum 68 degrees Fahrenheit and 40 to 50 percent humidity as reported by Vogue. The piece was rarely even separated from its muslin covered dress form, let alone be worn by anyone other than Monroe. That's the speciality of the dress. Kim respected the dress and knew its historical importance. She underwent changes and adjustments to her body to fit into it rather than making any alterations to the dress. Though Kim's action drew expected criticism from the audience, who believed the dress was a historical object that should be treated with utmost care. According to TMZ, Nick Woodhouse, president and CMO of the Authentic Brands Group, which manages Monroe's estate, believes Monroe would have been pleased that another famous person wore her gown. Because of the parallels between the two stars, Woodhouse claimed that Kardashian was the ideal person to put on Monroe's dress, according to the publication. Woodhouse remarked, They're strong, powerful, and independent entrepreneurs who love being in front of the camera. Kim wasn't allowed by the estate to wear the dress. However, in the eyes of Woodhouse, Kim did the right thing to ask the museum instead because they own the dress now and they have legal rights over the dress. Woodhouse added that the estate might as well have given the permission for Kim to wear the dress because of all the exposure Monroe is getting and for her story to be heard wide and ahead. Furthermore, 
Kim herself didn't want to be in that dress for long. She was afraid to damage it. Kim told Vogue, I'm extremely respectful to the dress and what it means to American history. I would never want to sit in it or eat in it or have any risk of any damage to it. And I won't be wearing the kind of body makeup I usually do. Everything had to be specifically timed and I had to practice walking up the stairs. Monroe is still a fascinating figure, but she's also constantly misinterpreted and misrepresented, commodified in death as she was in life. She yearned to be regarded as more than just a pretty face and body, to be taken seriously as an actress and a person. Her prolonged fight to attain that resulted in mental health issues, which harmed her job and eventually led to her death. Has Kardashian simply embraced the part of Marilyn Monroe that the lady herself so desperately wanted others to see past by donning Monroe's outfit and going on the record about her dangerous crash diet to get into it and bleaching her hair blonde? Monroe gained recognition and adoration for her beauty and sex appeal, and she is now one of Hollywood's most recognizable icons. She, on the other hand, desired to be appreciated for her soul rather than her body. She desired to be recognized and recorded as a thinker, intellectual, and performer. What does it imply when the person assuming her image is the woman most recognized for, well, being famous? If we hear the news of the dress being damaged anytime soon, Kim will have to bear a heavy penalty. Absolutely no compromise in that. Do you side with Kim's justification for wearing this dress? Leave your comments. Hit the like and subscribe button and turn on the bell notification.